All right, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna unbox and test out the rigid uh, job max right angled uh, or drill head, I should say. So we let's unbox this and see what comes inside and look at the specs and give it a test. Alrighty, so this is the job max right angle drill driver head. Uh, model number for this is I think 612-073. Maybe, but let's open this bad boy up and see uh, see what's inside. Of course, you get instructions and then their little Job Max catalog and warranty. And yeah, just like the jigsaw attachment, this is actually really, really hefty. Yeah, this is, this is, wow, that is, holy cow, that's bigger than I thought it would be. All right, so this is garbage. Recycling, I should say. Throw that into the instruction box or bag. Look at that. That thing is bigger than I thought it would be. It really is. Now that is a three, I believe that's a three eighths inch, yeah, three eighths inch chuck. And this goes to zero to 500 RPMs per minute. So, so that's actually perfect. Uh, the model number for this is R8223402. All right, so I am gonna flat out just say, uh, we are gonna test this out on what it's supposed to do, but what I am gonna be using this for during springs and summer, I am gonna be using this to uh, buff my cars, uh, buff the cars and buff the boat out. Now the reason why this is unique is because, so in previous videos I tried to buff out wax using the angle grinder and other, uh, other tools, but what's unique about this is the battery will not be in the way whatsoever because you could put, you could put this on like so. So like, uh, I just going to show you, this is my main purpose of of this and then buff this stuff out. See, with plenty of clearance between whatever I'm buffing, which that's the main, the main reason why I am gonna be using this a lot. But we are gonna test out uh, some screws and some uh, drill heads with this and see how well this actually performs. And, and if the multi-job tool could even do it. We will be using a 1.5 amp hour battery. No need to go any more than that. And just like the other tools, you could uh, have it in whatever direction you want. Nice to clamp this down. Very good. All right, I know this is not its job, but we're testing this out anyways to see what it can do. All right, so ready, go. It was able to do it. Yep, immediately I smell, I, I need a new uh, Ryobi multi-job tool. Immediately smell burning. Let's do one more hole. It did it. It is through. Got it right here. We're going to use a DeWalt drill bit. Let's see if it's, I do not know what type of screws these are. But let's see if, if it can do it. All right, right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Yes, it can. And the one thing I just realized, oh. All right, so this, I, I was mistaken. There is a left, there is a, uh, on the multi-job tool, there is a reverse. 
So there we go. This is not bad. I, sorry, that's my bad. I messed up in the previous video for the jigsaw. There is a reverse in the Ryobi's multi job tool. Let's put that back. Let's do it again. Very good. Actually, that could go more. Yes, it can. Let's take it out. That's locked. Oh, th this is uh, that is a two inch, uh, two and a half inch screw. Alrighty, so let's do a spec screw and see what happens. All right, we have a five inch spec. Let's see what. Let's see how far this could drive it in. Let's see if this is able to dr drive it all the way in. Right here should be good. All right, so ready? Go. Up, oh, wrong way. Ready? Go. It could. Holy cow. Very, very good. Let's take it out. All right, so it has power. I mean, it's able to. Let's just whip out the 6x6. Six six. Let's see if this is able to do it. Go. Up, oh, wrong way. Go. You can do it. You can do it. Almost time. It did it. And the Ryobi is smoking again. Ryobi is smoking again. Right, let's take it out. I will be picking up a new one. Because I abused the crap out of this multi-job tool in the past. They're ready. Go. Oh, well. We tested it out. The multi-job tool does not have the power to take the the five-inch specs out, so we'll use the drill. What, do you not have the power either? I was about to say. Alrighty, so the Ryobi multi-job tool did not have the power to take that specs out. But it did have the power to take to put it in. Now, like I said, I will be getting a new one of these because I abused the crap out of this for a long time before uh, I even started doing versus videos. And so, yes, uh, this is cool though. But like I said, this I will not be using this using this uh, this rigid head to do drills and do screws like that. This is going to be used to buff uh, buff cars and the boat during uh, spring and summer. I'm like, that's a very nifty tool to have. You know, it's poor, uh, it's battery operated, it's portable, and you could do it anywhere, which that's going to save me a lot of time buffing out wax. I mean, it really is cool. I did not know that there, that, that was a reverse. That's awesome. But well, there you go. Perfect. So that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.